Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We are literally 24 hours away from the big one. Dynamite meets Juggernaut. Sam Jones, nerves kicking in. Mate, I'm, I was, I was in just this nervous when Joe um, Joe boxed Ian Lewis on his debut, his second fight against Rudolf Jozic at York Hall. I was just as just as nervous. I'm always nervous for, for when uh, for when any of my guys fight. Um, but this fight's obviously got like a special feeling about it. So, yeah, yeah, I'm, of course I'm nervous. How do you think Joe and Daniel looked at the scales today? The, but listen, they're both two specimens, aren't they? They're both two, two massive guys. Joe's trained very hard for this. Daniel's clearly trained very hard for it. It's going to be a great fight. Jimmy Tibbs uh, is in is in the bubble now and uh, yeah, yeah. set for the corner tomorrow, yeah? Yep. All good, okay. So, before we talk more about tomorrow night, quickly tell me, um, or sort me through, Florian Marcus deal with matchroom boxing. Uh, so, we've, we've been talking to a, a lot of people about Florian. It was, we've made no secret of the fact that Florian was never, he's not exclusive with, with, with uh, Ultimate Boxer. He was uh, always a free agent. We just agreed a, 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 a few fight deal with, um, with, with uh, Boxer, who've done a good job, provided a good platform, but... It is time for Florian to, to get into the mix. Florian wants to fight the likes of your Conor Benz, uh, the David Avanesians, he's, he's, he's want he, the Josh Kellys of the world, the top top boys of the of the division. And this is the this is the platform with uh, with Eddie and Sky Sports and DAZN to to fulfil that. And as I say, when crowds come back, got, <laughs> we're going to have some great nights. Is he going to fight this year? Yeah. yeah. There's potential he could fight on the Joshua show. There is a, there is a small small uh, outside chance that he could potentially do that, which would be great for Florian to get out. And then we've got a big fight on the 23rd of January next year. Can you tell me the opponent? No. I think we can guess that. You can guess then. <laughs> Had a decent run recently. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good fight. It's a great fight. This deal obviously done in mind uh, for yourself and Florian with the the Conor Ben fight in mind for next year, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, absolutely. The the Conor Ben fight is the one he wants, but Florian does, is not based his career on on fighting uh, Conor Ben. It's just a great fight that a lot of people want to see it as well. A lot of people want to uh, want to see the fight. So we just want to. Florian just wants to be in big fights. What did Florian say to you about Conor's win? Was he impressed? Uh. Yeah, he, he actually was. To be fair, he said he said complimentary things. He said he he did well, but he said the guy was a bit of a punch bag. He was just like a, he he never looked like winning for one second of the fight, did he? Uh, for for Mella, but he was very very tough. That was for that's for definite. To go twelve rounds with Sean Porter, you you you're a tough man. Hmm. How do you think you get some of Josh Kelly, Conor Ben? Honestly, honestly. Um, I think Josh Kelly will have a little bit too much know-how for him. Um, it, it will be a lot closer than what I originally thought it would be. But I just think Josh Kelly is... He's one of the most talented fighters I've seen up close, Josh Kelly. Like, the, the natural ability of... Uh, if you watch him and Mick Conlon train t together, them two are like unbelievable levels, the pair of them. But yeah, Josh Kelly's... Uh, if, if, I, if, I, if I was betting, I would say Josh Kelly would beat Conor Ben. But by the way, I'm a big fan of Conor Ben. I'm, a, I'm like I'm a fan of his style. The fact that he doesn't have to fight, he does. He chooses to fight. It's um and and, he, and as I say, it's, it's a it's a known thing that he puts a lot of work in. So massive credit to to Conor. Be a exciting time, as I said, when fans come back and all them Albanian uh, fans flock out for Florin uh, Eddie shows. Oh, Eddie would ne Eddie seen a lot of things in boxing, but he would never have seen anything like a big Florian Marku uh, fight. Now. I had the uh, I had Simon Roberts there, the head of uh, uh, SA UK uh, security security message me today, going Gr unbelievable. But you've just added on a <laughs> you just made our work a lot harder because he knows um, when when fans come back, uh, the Albanians are gonna be 
or they're going to take over. Before I forget, actually, BT released uh, the round table with you and Joe and Frank and Daniel. I mean, a lot of people were talking about that after. Mm-hmm. That was filmed back in February, though, wasn't it? It was freezing that day, it was, as well. What was it? What got into you that day, Sam? I, <laughs> <laughs> I took a... Do you know what? I've had such a mixed response to that, but listen, the fight was on pay-per-view then, so I think even even I mean, Daniel was talking about Joe's blind mother that day, so a lot of uh, comments were happening that day. Jo, me and Joe, this is the gospel truth, we woke up, it was about half past five in the morning, and uh, I said I said, uh, I said to Joe, you know, we need to, <laughs> need to, we need to like, it's a promote this fight today, like Joe needs to talk a bit more than normal. We had about three coffees in the Good Morning Britain, uh, in the Good Morning Britain. So honestly, we did. This woman just kept bringing us coffees, and um, I don't, I don't need much to get me started. And even Joe was like, "It's in the, in the." To, to Joe was like, "It's talking." Like he was, he was, uh, he was fired up, and I was like ready to talk. And then I was just warming up on the Good Brit, Good Morning Britain set, and uh, it was, a, it was a fun day. Do you know what I mean? It was a fun day. We was sat um, in the same room as the bar. For about an hour, we had a Nando's. Me, Joe, Dubois, his brother, Prince, Frank Warren. We was all sat in this, in this, uh, this, this, uh, it... Joe's mum's ringing me now. <laughs> I'll call her back in a minute. Um, but yeah, we was all sat in this, like, uh, I don't know, it was like a, like a camper van where, where, where we was filming the, 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 gl- like the gloves are off kind of thing. And we was like, there was, there was no like bad atmosphere or anything like that. It's all business at the end of the day, but when we got in there, it was so cold in that room. I thought I have to talk to keep myself warm here. So as soon as I got it, I, I just spoke and I had a set of gills on me that day, didn't I? Mm. Kevin Johnson, him, and him. It was it was all going <laughs> off. <laughs> Kevin Johnson. No, Frank's. What did he say? He said Dubois boxed two world title challenges, and if he would have said Kevin Johnson twenty years ago, I'd have been like, yeah, okay, fair enough. Kevin Johnson's a tough man, but come on now, come on. Frank looked like he wanted to kill you. At he did point. look. Like, he did look like he wanted to kill me. To be fair, Frank, I felt he's like he was doing this, wasn't he? Like he was, like he'd sucked a lemon a little bit, uh, Frank. But yeah, it was good. Listen, it's good fun. I know you and Frank actually get on though. I've got loads of time for Frank. Frank's a legend. Frank Warren's a legend. He's 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 bloody been in boxing before I was even. F- even even a tadpole, <laughs> uh, he's he's been around forever, hasn't he, Frank? Um, and uh, it's listen, it's a pleasure to be alongside to be alongside people like that, um, to be mixing, to be rubbing shoulders with people like that who have been in boxing for so long. Um, it's it's a pleasure, to, it's a pleasure to be a part of. Lerone uh, had his first kind of match of experience going into the bubble, yeah. etc. Uh, how did he find that? Listen, it's, it was. Uh, it was time for sometimes in relationships in in, in box there was no like there's no bad people kept saying there's bad blood between Lerone and Frank there was no bad blood we 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 agreed to part ways with with Queensbury for Lerone some fighters are it's not all about like oh everyone has to go to a certain person some promoters suit certain fighters better than others like and Lerone is better suited with Matchroom okay. Willie Hutchinson was uh, adamant that Lerone stuck in him. Yeah, okay. That's nonsense. What he said. Yeah, it's great. Willie, Willie is going to say these things, but Willie, let's be honest, hasn't boxed anybody with a pulse yet. Yeah, but that fight was ordered, sir. Yeah, that fight was correct. That fight was ordered. But Lerone had a chance... Um, we had been speaking to Queensbury about Lerone boxing for the WBC silver title for good money. And then... It was kind of sprung upon us. Oh, the Willie Hutchinson fights there for a lot less money. Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to take a backward step? When Lerone fights Willie Hutchinson, and he will fight Willie, if, listen, they're on a kind of, even though Lerone's now with Matchroom, I believe they will meet at some point and it will be for a, for a world title. Not, 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 it's just, this. It's, 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 it's not, it doesn't make sense for Lerone. What does Lerone gain out of fighting Willie Hutchinson? You beat him, he's too young. Why, why does he, why does he need to take that that fight? Willie's a great fighter. I know a lot about Willie Hutchinson. I was I used to room next to him for a year in the Park Plaza when he had signed with David Hay. I know all about Willie. Willie's a cracking talent, and he knows that. Got loads of time for for for, for Willie. <laughs> got loads of. 
<laughs> I've got got that. Got loads of time for Willie. Um, but yeah, that in. yeah, we know what you meant. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Yeah, it's been one of them weeks. Come on, in one minute, tell me why Joe Joyce knocks out or beats Daniel Dubois tomorrow night. It's not on pay per view anymore, Umar. Joe Joyce beats Daniel Dubois. That's the end of the story. Oh, come on, Sam. Come on. Joe Joyce has, has been around the world level, which is and the amateur scene. Uh, for a long, long time, he's beaten top. Le- Tony Cruz fighting tonight. He's he's got a win. Holds a win over him. He lost a strange decision against him in the Olympic final. I told you, Fraser Clark, who's a fantastic up and coming heavyweight in the amateurs. He's beat him four times. Majidov, who's fighting, I think tonight as well. Um, he's he's got top level experience. He's beaten Brian Jennings. He's been hurt in a fight. He's we're gonna we're gonna find out about both men tomorrow, aren't we? And the, and the best and the best one's gonna win. As I've said from the beginning, I, Daniel Dubois is a great fighter. Twenty three years old, good fundamentals, brilliant jab, huge power. It's too, too. The, you don't get these type of fights very often, and everyone just has to enjoy it. Well, we certainly will, and hopefully the fans tuning in on BT Sport will too. Sam Jones. Oh, before before uh, we close off, we have got to do a giveaway. Yeah, we've got uh, we can do a giveaway. We've got a uh, Joe Joyce S Jam boxing T shirt. Um, we'll give that away. Right. So what I'll do, I'll clip this out, mm-hmm. put it on Twitter. I'll choose one lucky winner, but they've got a comment. They've got to retweet the post and comment. You you say all this. Yeah, I'll do all this. I'll deal with this. Mm-hmm. Retweet the post, but they've got to comment a hashtag. Yeah, hashtag the juggernaut. The juggernaut. Hashtag S Jam Boxing. Choose one. Hashtag S Jam Boxing. All right, they got hashtag S Jam Boxing. Yeah. Uh, on the comments, and uh, I will pick one lucky winner to win a Joe Joyce T-shirt. Okay. okay. Last yeah. one, Sam. Is that no worries, man. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO, and your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt.